So now you're getting good at your foreign language. Uh, is there an opportunity for you to use it somewhere? Well, of course there is. Um, there are a lot of alternatives to tourism because as a tourist, you're probably not going to be able to use your foreign language as much uh, since you'll probably be in a resort and people will end up speaking English. In the tourist industry, they always speak English. So what you really need is total immersion to be completely immersed within that language. There are some resources that you can use. Um, there's a program called Workaway. It's pretty much a classified ad service for people that would like to spend an extended period of time abroad. You stay with the host family. You work uh, for them for about four hours a day in exchange for room and board, and you can stay a couple of weeks or you can stay several months. So that's a great option. Another option is Volunteers for Peace. This is a catalog that has um, hundreds and hundreds of uh, volunteer work camps all over the globe. Uh, you pay a little fee to join, and I think that money goes towards the Volunteers for Peace programs that are held in the United States. So um, it goes to wherever the volunteer's home country is. And then um, you have access to all these different work camps. I did four in Europe um, in the 90s, but they're still running the catalog. I did uh, two in Italy, one in the Czech Republic, and one in Spain, and all four of those were great experiences. Um, but it's a great way to meet locals and have a chance to use your target language. Um, if you have a longer period of time, if you want to be a student, you can do a foreign exchange program at a university in um, Europe or somewhere else around the world. And uh, if that seems expensive, you can also become an au pair. And that's a way to get a visa where you can uh, do a little bit of light housework and some childcare in exchange for room and board. Oftentimes they'll give you a small stipend and you'll have plenty of time to go to school. And living with the host family is one of the best ways to be immersed in a foreign language because chances are they're not going to speak your target language. And so you'll be forced to get by um, in, your, in your language. Um, another suggestion would be to get a designation to teach English abroad. Um, this only takes about three months. There's the TEFL, which stands for Teaching English as a Foreign Language. And um, there are a couple other ones that are not as well known. But um, this is a way to get a work visa for a year in almost any country in the world. Again, you will work a few hours a day, probably around four hours a day in exchange for room and board and receive a small stipend. But it's a great way to potentially bring your spouse or your family to a foreign country uh, along with the visa. And in some cases, your kids can even go to the local schools. So those are some ideas that I want to get more in depth into in the next few videos. Um, to give you a better idea about those resources, something to look forward to, but those are four wonderful ideas as alternatives to tourism.